traveller. Ah, finally. For a while I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveller by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? Most travellers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads, Fay, they are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. The ballad is called Ring and Reprisal. I know little about it, but if we reenact the ballad step by step, the ring should come to us. In the story, a maiden asks a champion to reclaim a ring stolen by a troll. It's a few years too late, but I'll play the role of the maiden. <laughs> you be the champion. First, you must prove your prowess by hunting wild antelope and bring back something to lure the troll. Who knows? You'd have better luck getting an answer from one of these damn fey. But it's what the ballad calls for. You can find an antelope nearby. Bring them down and get proof of your kills. We'll need them later on. Hurry back!
stole the ring in the ballad is named Lekka the Corpulent. I guess he had a bit of a appetite. You need to mount the trophies just like the champion in the ballad. When all are displayed, Lekka should come. Once he's there, it should be easy business claiming the ring. I mean, you've killed a troll before, right? You need to display them in the ruins. That's what's going to draw out Lekka the Corpulent and get us the ring. Farewell. <laughs> Thanks for dealing with Lekka. I... I wasn't really afraid, mind you. Just playing the parts all. Well, now that this business is over, just give me the ring and I'll give you your payment. Well, after seeing what you did to that troll, I'm not keen on the idea of getting on your bad side. Keep the ring, if you so please. Looks like there's no fairy tale ending after all. You would make a good traveler. Be gone with you. Are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cast! You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf, cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head. But two-leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them. But I cannot fight in this form. Will you help, two legs? Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned, the sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power. The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. <sighs> Beware them. They hunt well. <sighs>
<laughs> Two legs, do you come to me empty-handed? What is the meaning of this? The well holds powerful magic, as old as these trees. Our elders told us its true name. Your two-leg kind might <laughs> call it the well that wanders. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear like a wolf on hunt. But what prey it seeks. Hmm. Before I was cursed, I remember <laughs> strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. Leechwood? That is the two leg name for that wood that feasts on strength. It appears through the <laughs> forest. Should not be hard to find. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. <sighs> it must be what the well is seeking. It is there, two legs. The scent of water. Faint, but it does not escape me. My pack <laughs> shall hear of your compassion and <laughs> honor. I now go to the wilds and rejoin my pack. <sighs> and now you may continue on your path, but with the knowledge of how to fight <laughs> with the strength of a wolf. Now I shall drink deep of this potion and return to my kind. <laughs> Thank you. 
right up and allow yourself the pleasure of my company. I am the great Oleander Sinclair, alchemist virtuoso. Today only I am offering inhabit... Inhabitan... The people of Yelvan a special... What am I offering? Blast! The potion's wearing off. A potion. His potion, I mean. Oleander Sinclair. See, I'm not really him. He being a dead guy I found in a mine nearby. Landed on, really. But he was already dead. Maybe I took his coin and drank one of his potions. That's when things got strange. I could make potions. Tonics, cordials, restoratives. Turns out I really like alchemy. But the potion's effects are fading. Will you help me make another? I don't recall the potion's name. No surprise, I can't even remember my own name. That's the price you pay for being erroni... erroni... for being a liar. Those war-sworn curs likely have one in their keep. I'm not sure. They won't let me in. On account of my being a liar. You could make the potion using the proper reagents, but that would require work. We've got to hurry, though, because I'm getting dumber by the moment. Scour the keep and you'll find something useful. You wouldn't believe what those Warsworn are hoarding in there. Please hurry.
Shield the brother. I didn't do it. Whatever it is you're eyeballing me for, I'm not the one respond... respond... the one who did it. Wait, did I? Hope this works. Bottoms up, mate. I think it's working. Indubitably. Plethora. Effulgent. There it is. Now I should be able to brew up anything I need in no time. As agreed, here's your payment. You're a real lifesaver. Don't mind that. I'm holding up. Aside from the boggarts and blood plague... <coughs> Look, you should turn around and go... <coughs> go somewhere safe. This is no place for visitors right now. Kester Barclay would know far better than me. He's in the town square. Go and ask him yourself. <coughs> Talk to you later. My father's got the cough. Why, Mithalru, what is it you... Oh, hello. Did Thaddeus send you? Kester Barclay, my apologies. I don't mean to be rude. This crisis has me a bit on edge. Yes, that's it. Did Thaddeus tell you? The Boggarts carry it in their venom, and they're spreading it everywhere. Normally, the things keep to themselves. Looks like some Jotun got into their lair, though. Force the Boggarts out. You're either brave or a fool. But if you could kill the Jotun, perhaps the Boggarts would leave us alone. All right. Travel north to the Boggarts' lair in Coilsbane, and clear out their cave. Driving the Jotun from Coils, Ben, would be the best. Of course, Astrid Frisk could probably... Please, hurry. It's the Boggarts bring the blood plague.
Ogress. You surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. But did Padaxes send you? Lysander, perhaps? Tell me! Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You've seen what this place is, yes? An entire city constructed to focus the power of a single spell. I have, of course, already cast the spell. Even now my deathless servants rise from centuries of slumber. No, it is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this, and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? As if the Onyx Tower and the Rose Court would ever end their feud. As for you, for that pathetic attempt at deception, you will be days in the dying. <laughs> <laughs> You're back. Glad to see you made her out of there alive. We felt the earth shake, and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much, after all you've done, but we would like you to have it. Mitharu, keep your... 